everybody. We are Hello. But more Phoenix Wright is attorney. And <laughs> I am joined by John and Tails. And right now, we are interviewing April May at the detention center. Oh, oh, God. Whoa. Uh, Ayo, everybody. She looks... Uh, I don't like her face. Well, that's the thing. She puts on the mask of being like a really bubbly she, person, but yeah, like, she, she, she really... She puts on the mask of being very sweet and kind and gentle. Like, there you go. Like that. And then I think, you know, when her true colors are revealed, she's a demon in disguise. She like really the is. Bop, bop. Yeah, it's kind of that man. Like, it's kind of like, most music like, when you're on the center is very depressing music. I just like, oh god, it's so depressing. But then all of a sudden April May comes along, it's like, oh god. Oh god, oh god. Like, you, you're never gonna get you never gonna get through to this woman. I mean, you might as well. Oh. Oh yeah, and she's not exactly very nice on the name for being as you just. As you just seen, I tell yeah. me, tell me that about the man. Man. Tell me about the man. Ooh, right. Where is he? Come on. Where is he? Um, no way, Jose. Okay. Maybe if I had some better talk. All right. Oh, get out of here. All right, let's give her the testimony. Yes. What? I actually really keep her notes. So get lost. Oh. Well, I'm not lost. Thanks. I noticed. All right. I was looking around whenever I was doing this, and I was just like, what can I, uh, what can I use? Wiretap. And it's just like, alright, let's get out of here. Because I thought if I gave her the pet, I thought if I used the testimony, that would do something. So now we're back at the bank law offices. And the place actually, I'm surprised the place actually looks alright. Hmm. Well, I'm exactly alright. Well, I mean, well, from that from that view right there, everything looks pretty damn fine, even though someone died in it just the other night. Now, right. we gotta look at books. More illegal books. Books, 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 books. Oh, and I forgot to mention in the last episode, we are actually getting a new member. Oh, really? Well, oh, really? And then I actually Oh, wait, 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 Oh, yeah. I, I wasn't... I wasn't, uh, informed of this, uh... What do you mean you weren't informed of this? I informed you just like a few weeks ago that we were getting a new member. Uh, uh, uh yeah, I was just joking. Uh huh. We don't joke around in court, Kales. Yeah, guys, we're getting a new member. His name's Tommy, and um, he works for Tom Nook. He also is a is a movie director, producer, and. And, um, an actor, um, inside of the movie known as The Roommate in 2002. Oh. Um, oh, his last Lord. name is Vasil. Ah! Oh, yeah, and also, now they're talking like, now he's talking about that they charge premium because they had a murderer in their hotel. Oh, yeah, that's, that's definitely not a hype. But, the, but, the, I like this music. <laughs> my from uh, Trials and Tribulations. But uh, from what I've heard, the new themes from uh, Easter and Christ are great. Like the pursuit theme and such. Like, I was actually watching the first part of it. Um, well, the first case, I mean. Like, uh, it's the first trial, anyway. Uh, Polly has lost his eye and he's going for the uh, riding look. And, uh. In 3D, it actually looks pretty damn stunning. No, a photo. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, in all uh, seriousness, our new member is um, one of John and I's old friends from, uh, from a little while back. Uh, John, will you do the honors? What? Yes. Wait, honors what? <laughs> Of introducing the <laughs> member? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Um. Wow. Smooth. Smooth. No, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, okay. Um, our new member is one of the only Paris Weeks. Hmm. Or, Good. well, she calls herself Kyrie, but. Yeah. That doesn't matter. Yeah. She'll be joining us in uh, 
some reviews, some game reviews, or, you know, or some game playthroughs. Yeah, uh, we don't know what she's doing yet. The only thing we do have a confirmation of what she's doing is that she's going to be doing a joint review. Kingdom Hearts with John and Kales, I'm not going to be taking part in it due to my lack of uh, playing it. And also, as you can see right here, the giant painting has been taken away from his office. Yeah, it was a nice painting too. Now we have uh, yep. DL6. I don't know. DL6 is a key that will pop she... up later on in the uh, later on in the game. And look, that smile. Priceless, isn't it? Yep. I'm just borrowing it. I'll know. return it later. I don't know. If, wait, is Paris gonna be joining the commentaries, games or playing, or is it just movies, such? I do not know. That depends. Oh yeah, because I was the last. Freshman. I was the I was the last one to know this uh uh this well, inclusion of a full member. So. Well, John asked me because John said it to her, said it about it to her, and then uh I uh said uh, that that should be all right because you know I don't I didn't think it might fail. We like we need more sex appeal on the channel because being you're the only one with it and you know, John isn't really start is taking up much ground. So, you know, have a look at this. And, bingo! We just called ourselves a killer. Who? What? When? Why? Hmm. Miss Cooperative. Do you have any proof of that? Yeah, yeah proof. Show me proof. How many episodes of uh, Phoenix Fight do you have up, by the way? Uh, we have another one up, and then, uh, that was the last we had because I never got any more recorded. Hmm. And I were going to the bellboy and asking, does he recognize this guy? And. That smile. And what she does? Logic and Trick, one of my other favorite songs. Oh, that was short lived. Yes. Yeah, just let it. Let's just have him write it for God's sake. He's all. He's too excited. I can't. I can't just tell his mood. I have to let him. You know, I, I'm not the type of person to break people's hearts and such. I'm not sure about his highlights though. <laughs> He's dialing. Right, let's go back to the detention center. Oh, uh, let's. Yeah. Uh, uh, or whatever the hell you call it. Oh, the problem. Yeah, I'm not gonna ease. I'm not gonna ease up now. No, he's playing dumb. Yeah, if you don't talk, I'm taking this photo to the press. Even though he should be a witness to the murder, this man is in hiding. I'm sure the press would uh, have a field day with his reputation. Yeah, um, yes. Finally. That felt good. It's great to be. I'd actually, I'd love to see Phoenix Wright do that, just in the middle of a detention center, just like, bumming this place up in the air, it's like, why are you doing that? Uh, nothing, nothing at all. Just get a ball, though. Wait, is episode 12? I don't know, I don't think it's... Uh, are you, um, almost done the second case, Lincoln? I'm pretty sure I am. The last part I was on was the uh, trial, whenever you were interviewing uh, the character in question, just a minute to go there. Whenever you're actually in the trial with him. I believe that this episode ends with you uh, getting your sorry ass handed uh, to him. Well, your sorry ass gets beat up by him. Which, I'm a little bit surprised that things like coming down up for himself, but whatever. So then I went to check and see if I could find any, if I could talk anymore, and then, you know, just go to Blue Corp. And look! Blue Corp! And look, it, it's, uh, Mr. Grosenberg's, uh, oh. painting. Oh no. Welcome! Please! Where did you go the title of your personage? Oh no. Your name? What's your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go uh, by. Right. Phoenix. Right. 
Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendoriferous. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps I've intimidated you with my giantess vocabulary? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite, so I'm afraid I am not used to conversing with the orderly challenge. Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney, fresh the law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to me like this. No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as me? This guy's arrogance is off the chart. Look at that smile. <laughs> it shines! It sparkles! Million dollar smile. Right, she was my secretary. What a shock to see what has she has done. What she has done. Indeed, she is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. Uh, this guy really annoyed me. To no extent, just by the words he uses. <laughs> it's irritating. He's like a pretty stand up guy. I mean, guy's got blue hair, he's got a pink jacket with diamonds, got all the bling on him. He's <laughs> red light. Don't worry, be happy. Oh god. I'm looking at this office, it looks ridiculous. Be happy. What is that atlas behind him? Or like a crappy version of atlas? I don't know. Why didn't the prosecution call him the witness? You should have seen. Oh. oh, oh. oh cool. To me, they are mere toys. Playthings for my amusement. <laughs> Uh, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. In the ten years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ha, uh, in case you were wondering, Blue Court was named after the color of blue. One. I never would have guessed. Red one of Blue Court. I started to see a nigga set. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic, you know? Wow, that was fast. Uh, there's something bothering me. Yes? What might that be? A painting, that big painting on the wall over there. It's gorgeous! Get it? mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. no. I've seen that painting before, <laughs> yesterday, in fact. Oh. Right. Oh. Oh. Yeah, everyone oh. likes to make fun of either his spiky hair or his name. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing, zilch, simple, nada. He's being really defensive. Try telling that. Wait, what? what? Ah! Scotty Bird. No! Oh. oh no. Ugh! Ugh! He. He punched me! <laughs> oh, Messelbo, what do we do? Charge him with assault? Charge away. I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. <laughs> so you say. But I wonder. Is that kind of control really possible? Yeah, like this guy, like, sure he's a threat, but really he's a yeah. massive clunker. It's a shrine Like, it's amazing that, that how much power he has. That's scary. Yeah. Now I, if you excuse me, I'm going to uh, get the hell out of here while I've still got a chance. Bye-bye! And that's it. And in the mm -hmm. next episode, that'll finish up the investigation portion of the case. So. Yep, and then things will get serious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. So, until then, keep investigating, and justice will always prevail. Bye-bye.